Dr. Sears, today we are going to jump into the science behind zone foods. So without further ado, I'm going to give you the floor to really talk to us about what the goal is um, behind using zone foods. Well, the goal is pretty simple, to basically live longer. Who doesn't right. want to live longer? <laughs> so good starting point. But in the process, you'll also lose excess body fat at the maximum rate, and you'll have clear thinking and basically you have better mental, mental and physical performance. So these are all Great the benefits. side effects by using <laughs> zone foods. Good now, side effects. <laughs> now, how do you get those side effects, those good side effects? Because you're activating the master regulator of metabolism in each of your 30 trillion cells. It's called AMPK. And if you can keep AMPK in a zone, not too high, but not too low, then all those things are a consequence. Because what you're doing is now reprogramming your metabolism. And it's metabolism that keeps us alive. It's metabolism that keeps us healthy. It's metabolism that basically makes our life easier to navigate. Now, what makes these zone foods different? Well, first of all, why not just follow the zone diet? But life gets in the way. You've had your own experience doing studies at Harvard, diet mm -hmm. studies. People are very compliant for the first couple of weeks. And then life gets in the way. And then you say, you beg, uh, pay, say, please come in and just come in for a weighing. So we had to say, this is not going to change. And people say, well, diet doesn't work. Say, yes, it does, but you have to make it easy for the patient to comply. So we uh, are using two different technologies to make these zone foods, cut that Gordian knot of saying it's hard to do it. The first technology is called molecular baking. It's a patented technology that allows us to basically change the location in the gut that basically where proteins absorb. Now you need protein at every meal. How much? About 30 grams. But no more, but no less. So that's why all the zone foods come in basically convenient packages of 15 grams each. You can mix and match so you get 30 grams. So, but now with the molecular baking, the, pro, uh, the products such as the primarily the pasta and also the granola uh, that's coming on basically are, are basically absorbed in a different location in the gut. And by doing so, you send more powerful signals, the same signals sent by Wolgovi to the brain saying, stop eating. A second technology we have is now you have to balance the protein with carbohydrates, but you want the lowest possible glycemic uh, index. So that, uh, the higher the glycemic index, the less effect or the more inhibition you get on AMPK. Now, for example, the glycemic index of glucose is 100. Mm -hmm. That of fructose is about 20. But we use a new uh, carbohydrate. It's called allulose. Its glycemic index, zero. And as a consequence, it has a dramatic effect on enhancing the ability of protein to stop hunger. So if these two dietary technologies combined in the new zone foods allows you to actually go in and practice genetic engineering on each of your 30 trillion cells at every meal by the foods you eat. Now, does this mean there's, uh, I'll have to eat these foods the rest of my life? <laughs> well, uh, it depends on how long okay. you want to live. Yeah, your choice. <laughs> uh, but the fact is that, you know, we, they can become, again, not a crutch, but basically a, a drug. You decide how many days, uh, uh, how many meals a day you want to use the drug guaranteed to stop hunger for five hours. And the more you use that drug, the longer you live. The more you use that drug, the more fat you lose. The more you use that drug, the more you maintain physical and mental performance. It's like, again, we'll go via oral Zempi. What happens when you stop taking the drug? Hunger returns. So really the zone foods are our dietary solution mm -hmm. to freedom from hunger. Yep. Freedom from hunger using the foods you like to eat. They're mm -hmm. fun to eat, easy to make, and incredibly easy to clean up. 
Absolutely. And what I love the most about them is they're like easy shortcuts. You know, it's like, you know, that if you're grabbing it, you've got something healthy with protein, but it's also quick, um, which I think as a mom is perfect. Uh, the one thing I did want to mention to Dr. Sears is that I know that we're talking about genetic engineering within the body, but molecular baking with the foods is that this is still a very natural process, this molecular baking. So it's not like we're manipulating things in the lab um, or anything like that. It's a, it's a very natural process with the way that these foods are made. Yes, uh, the process is similar to making a loaf of bread. Perfect. Uh, if you have dough, <laughs> uh, it just, it, 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 but you bake the dough. And mm -hmm. in that process, you're now beginning to basically use a, a part of this molecular baking technology. So we basically found ways to add food ingredients to be speed the process up in the baking process. So again, it's say there's nothing unnatural about it unless you think bread's unnatural or pizza's unnatural. But it is basically now the ingredients we use that when you bake these products, they basically have basically changed the location in the gut where they're absorbed. And that change of the location has dramatic impacts, positive impacts on reducing hunger. So what they are, all these foods, they give you the really the guidelines we all search for. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> freedom from what? Freedom from hunger. Perfect. And that's where the science is behind these foods. So Dr. Sears, thanks so much for being with me today. And for more information on the science behind the zone, keep checking back in with us at zoneliving.com.